Yo, what's going on, Night Family? Welcome back to another video, man. And I know I've been, I know I've been lacking on my videos lately, honestly. And I'm trying to get back into the flow of uploading YouTube videos. And I got a new job at Carmax, guys. So yeah, man. Yeah, good thing going on. But hey, this video is not about Carmax or why I've been lacking video. This video is about me. The reason why I left Office Depot. Uh, I want to give you guys my reason why I left Office Depot and I will give you guys reason why you should work there and reasons why you shouldn't work there because I want to give you guys options. I never want to be like down in a company without uplifting the company at the same time. You know, I'm like the asshole boyfriend who be complimenting you and also insulting you at the same damn time. Be like, and girl be like, uh, do, do, uh, do this make me look fat? Uh, it does make you look fat, but you're not fat. Hey. I'm that type of guy but you know before this video gets started if you, like if you guys do want to see more videos from me of course thumbs it up subscribe to the channel want to see more videos share the video around the web if you found this video entertaining or helpful to anybody who want to work at office depot or i don't know office max but yeah man let's hop into it all right guys my name is d knight fam i worked for office depot for eight months eight months I was full time for three months, and the other months out when I first started, I was part time. Uh, you made eight dollars an hour part time, uh, ten dollars and twenty five cents an hour when you full time. Sometimes you might get more, sometimes you might get eleven. Uh, eleven dollars is the max you can make at Office Depot at a, as a full time sales consultant or copy and print. Eleven dollars an hour is not nothing. And one thing about the company. You cannot get 40 hours. If you get 40 hours, you're lucky. The most hours you will get every week is 36 or probably 37, 38, whatever. You will never reach that 40 unless they need you and unless you spend it putting in overtime. That's about it. You got to cheat your way to that 40 hours. You got to stay an extra hour on your own. Like, dude, like, it's so crazy how the company don't want you to get 40 hours every week. Right now, I'm at CarMax. I'm getting 40 hours in training, $12.25 an hour. And after that training, it's going to be commission-based. But, hey, $160 a car, that's good, dude. Like, hey, eight cars, that's, that's, $1200, that's $1,200 every paycheck. We get paid every two weeks at CarMax. But, anyway, Office Depot. It's a great company to start off in the sales position. Like, if you ever want to move up into sales, or a car salesman or any type of sales position um, or any kind of consulting bi uh, business Office Depot is a great start uh, where I worked at uh, Madison store I think it's store 02761 whatever it is you know um, store manager Ben Odom cool guy cool guy you guys probably see him in other, my other videos you know I'm gonna put pictures of my other videos right here so you guys see him right there in the video you know uh man dude i miss them man i miss them i miss my old crew member um company let me let me, let me just continue getting the bad out the way 11 dollars an hour the most you can make as a sell consultant or a copy and print or full-time person you know um moving up into the manager position the training and stuff is fun they move you to another state or probably another store uh in a local area or a distant area like People I know, they went down to the coast. Like, I live in Mississippi, uh, so they took them down to the Gulf of Mexico, like uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, or Pasigula, Mississippi, and stuff like that for training. Uh, either they go out of state or whatever, you know? They pay for your training. That's cool and all, but, dude, these managers don't get paid that much. The store manager is the only person who can get 40 hours a week. Or more than 40 hours a week. I know a lot of managers, assistant store managers, and operation managers, and customer service managers. They're getting around 32, 36, 37, 38 hours a week. Like that ain't that's not good at all, fam. And I I highly believe they're getting like, hmm. They they probably getting around. Let's say they probably getting around 15 dollars an hour. Uh, that's not good at all, you know. But Hey, Office Depot is a great place to start off if you want to like get into the salesman role. Uh, they train you, cross train you. Uh, you're not only going to be just a salesman, you're going to be also the copy and print person. You're going to be working the cash register. You're going to know how to do logistics. 
that means doing a truck unloading a truck uh putting up stuff on the aisle you're gonna be doing everything when you're working at office depot like i found myself doing things that i never thought i was gonna be doing like it's crazy dude but it's a great learning experience man honestly it's a first great a good first job if you're in high school you need a little job for the summer or something hey office depot is the way man it's the way it's the way um not all stores gonna be the same obviously you know but my store had great people there uh great sales great co-workers there everybody was cool fun hanging out we built a bun like honestly we built a bun a relationship with all my co-workers who worked there every last one of them we had a bun with every last one of us was cool we never had any conflict while i was working there you know how some dudes be arguing over the mic that never happened at all that never happened at all where i was you know and I game with some of my homies at Office Depot. I even vlogged there, like I told you guys before. Uh, shout out to my boy Recio, man. He the boy. Uh, shout out my boy Michael. You feel me for? <laughs> but hey, shout out Sean too, man. Dude, like we hoop together and stuff. We go to the church where we had like play basketball with a bunch of um, church members and stuff. Like that's his church. Like the guy named Sean. That's his church. Uh, but hey. I do have a good time there, hooping with them, building a relationship with them, building a bun, making friends at work. Like, dude, if you ever get a job, you never just want to go to work and be like, hey, I'm just going to go to work just to make money and don't build a bun with my uh, co-workers. Building a bun with your co-workers make work fun. You're not going to be like, oh, man, just another day at work. You can be like, oh, man, I'm going to see this crazy ass dude or work with this crazy ass girl or something like that, you know? So it's best to build a bun at work. Uh, Office Depot, um, great, you know. That's all I can say right now, but I can't think of anything else, but just get Office Depot a shot, Office Max a shot. It's a nice place to learn, nice place to start off working. But uh, the reason why I quit, guys, this is a reason why I quit. Uh, let me stop beating around the bush, pushing this video out too long, but I quit because they transferred me to the Pearl store that was 45 minutes away from me. I was in a Madison store and I enjoyed it. I loved it. They transferred me to the Pearl store. I didn't like it at all. They were understaffed. They literally had 12 people, 12 freaking people on staff. I had to do every goddamn thing. Do I had to unload the truck. I had to come in in the morning, I had to run a cash register. I had to do everything, dude. Like at Office Depot in Madison, I didn't have to do everything because I was full time. Part time work is supposed to do all the other stuff. Uh, we were severely understaffed at Office Depot in Pearl. Uh, I didn't like like I didn't like the environment. Like everybody was like talking behind each back, each other back, uh, freaking back talking each other. Some of the managers didn't like each other. The store manager, uh, I'm not gonna say I don't like him, but he's not my type of guy to work for. The store manager kind of weird, um, kind of an asshole at the same time, you know. Like, dude, stay watching the cameras. I don't need nobody watching over me while I work, fam. I'm a grown-ass man. Let me do my thing. I'm not a kid that need to be watched and monitored 24-7 over the camera. Be like, hey, which, which, where you going? What you doing, Donovan? What's that, Donovan? Like, dude, chill, bro. I swear to God, my first day there, I went to the break room, right? Anybody goes to the break room while you at work. I went to the break room, right, to grab a bottle of water. As soon as I took a sip off the water, put it back in the refrigerator, and turned around, this motherfucker come walking through the door talking about some, um, what you doing back here? I'm like, dude, how the hell you know I was back here, fam? Like, my dude, like, you must ran from the office. Like, the break room and the manager office are on the other side of the store. He must ran from his damn office and see me on the camera. Like, oh, shit, what that boy doing? Let me get, let me get, let me get my ass a run. Like... Oh my god, dude. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I might make this a part two. I don't want to make this video too long, but hey, dude. That's the reason why I quit. They moved me to a uh, Pearl store, and I didn't enjoy it at all. But if you guys want me to get more in-depth on this situation or reason why I quit, uh, just get the video up to 10 likes or just leave comments and say you want a continuation of the video. You want part two. But this is just part one right now, dude. I would make a continuation of this story, man, because it is crazy, man. I can tell you guys about how this store was. This store wasn't at all in shape for customers. Like, it, was, it wasn't stable. It wasn't a stable store. Everybody was against each other, man. It was every man for themselves, man, type shit.
But anyway, I hope I made sense or anyway. Hope I got to the point reason why I quit. I don't know. Hope it's entertaining. Kind of tired right now. Sleepy as hell. But yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs the video up. Subscribe to the channel. Want to see more videos from me? Of course. I'll be coming back with the vlogs, man. A vlog coming tomorrow, man. So when you guys see a vlog from me, it's gonna be the Fourth of July vlog, Jackson, Mississippi. Don't y'all know? And man, yeah, man. Like, subscribe, share the video, run the web, find it entertaining and helpful. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace.